In this video, we're going to talk about helper functions. So helper functions are essentially functions that you can call upon that will help other functions do their job. So these are essentially atomic parts of your code. They are like the lowest level kinds of things. They're not ever going to rely on some other part of code inside of your code, right? So I should be able to take one of these helper functions and paste it into literally anybody's bot and it should just work. That is the point of these helper functions. It's really just a very small unit of work that helps somebody else's job, that's, that helps some other part of your code do its job better and in a cleaner way. So for example, we have this uh, is blank function, okay? Now, inside of here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna check some input text and we're gonna compare it to say, see if the trimmed version of that text equals nothing. Now, you may need to check whether or not uh, something is blank several times in your code. For example, let's say you're taking input from the user. Well, you wanna make sure that they gave you some input. Right, so that might be one place where you check to see if something's blank. Or another place might be if you're scraping something. Well, you wanna know if you got a result or not, or if you just got white space. So this is something where you might have it littered throughout your code. You may, you may be using it many different times. And so you wanna try and condense that into one function that you can use many times throughout your code. And the point is really to help a larger piece of code do its job better. So in the larger piece of code, you don't want any extra unnecessary bits of complication, right? Let me give you an example. In this particular case, it is fairly simple, but I still wouldn't want to see uh, this in a larger piece of code if it wasn't necessary. Uh, we have this comparison with the trim, and then inside of there, in this particular case, we have the input. However, However, what you could potentially have here, if this were in a larger piece of code and it were not in a helper function like this, is you could potentially have something like a scrape attribute. And I'm just gonna hit okay there. And as you can see, now this is starting to look kind of messy. And so this is something that you don't want in a larger piece of code because it's just gonna make the code harder to read. And so instead, we can extract out a helper function here. And what's great about something as general as in blank is, blank is that, again, you can use this pretty much everywhere. And so once we extract this helper function, we can use it wherever you need it. Now, instead of having that more confusing looking code in your big code, all you need to have is this. You can use an if and you don't even need to use a comparison function in this case because this is going to return true or false. So this is essentially gonna say if true or if false. So if the result is true, then it's gonna run this, else it's going to run that. And so you could probably see how much cleaner it would be inside of the larger part of your code to just say if is blank and then send it whatever uh, it needs instead of it having a comparison and then a trim and then equals nothing, and then inside of that maybe another function, instead we could just have this if is blank, and right in here we could also uh, put the scrape attribute and it will be a lot cleaner just because it's only one uh, level nested inside of here, and that makes everything look a lot cleaner and easier to read. So let's just take a quick look at these uh, functions. We already kind of went over the is blank. The is not blank is essentially uh, the same thing, except it just says if the trimmed input does not equal nothing, all right? And so now let's go ahead and run this with this uh, white space in here. And of course, it says, yup, it's blank. And the reason for that is because of this trim function. It's gonna trim out that white space. So if I actually just put some text in there instead, you can see that now it says, nope, it's not blank. 
And so use helper functions when you have larger pieces of code that are doing the same little operation like this over and over again. Now you could have helper functions as well that, that do other things like, for example, you may have a helper function that only just helps one part of your code. That's fine. In fact, you don't even have to think of this as, as in the term helper functions because the name in this case doesn't matter so much, but the idea does matter. You do want to be taking out bits of your code from, from the larger parts of your code, making those parts less complicated. It's better to read is blank than it is to read a comparison within a trim within a script attribute equals nothing. Then you have to decipher the meaning of that in your head. If you just read the is blank, it's gonna be a lot easier. And in fact, we're gonna talk more about code readability in the next section. And so I'll see you there.